Instagram. Welcome back if you've been here before and thanks for joining me if this is your first time here. I want to thank everybody so much for your comments and your likes and for subscribing. It really means a lot and um, I'm really enjoying being part of this community so thank you so much. So today I have um, some a finish, some whips, and a truly shocking, scandalous amount of haul to show you. So um, let's get started with the finish. So I was working on my Calendar Girl series, of course, and I had been working on November the last time I saw you, and I finished her. So here's November. The thing I changed about November was that the word November was charted to be stitched with three different colors, but I just wanted to do it in one color. Um, I didn't like the way the three colors look together. This just seemed better to me. And it's like the color of pumpkin pie. It made me happy. <laughs> so that's the color I did it. And this is done on a 14 count Ada in Misty Taupe. I believe it's just a Charles Craft brand that I got at AC Moore. So that's November. And since I finished November, that of course means that I started December. And so now we're going to move into whips. And I'm going to show you December. Um, this is what she's supposed to look like when she's finished. The December Calendar Girl. That's by Little House Needleworks, if I didn't say. And let me show you where she is so far. So, this is where I have her so far. She's just a torso. <laughs> she's holding a wreath. And um, this color red is just so nice. This is DMC 221. And I'm really enjoying working on her. She needs a lot more work still, but she's getting there. And then when I'm done with her, I'll be done with the series. So I'm really excited about that. I think I'm going to miss stitching on it a little bit. But I have the Satsuma Street Zodiac series in the wings to take its place. So that'll be a fun one to take its place for sure. The next whip I want to show you is um, my heart drop that I stitched this um, this time around. Now, uh, the heart drops, if you haven't heard of them, I learned about this from Katie the Stash Queen on one of her videos. She talked about heart drops and what they are are hearts that you stitch up on plastic canvas typically and you finish them off and then leave them out in the wild somewhere, somewhere in your town so that people can find them and hopefully it will bring a smile to somebody's face. So I had tried to do it on plastic fan canvas, but I bought the wrong canvas. So I did a couple on perforated paper and then I found these tags, they're perforated tags as a freebie in a magazine that I got. And so I wanted to try that out. This is how it came out with one of them. I'm just gonna put that behind it. That's a deep purple and I really like it. It was pretty easy to stitch on these cards. They're pretty thick. You can hear the sound of it. And I think I might pursue trying to find more of these because this was a perfect way for me to do these heart drops. And um, I'm trying to decide how to finish this off because what I want to do is make sure that I put on here somewhere the Facebook group for people who find the heart drops. There's an additional group for people who find them. So I want to make sure I put that on here somewhere um, so people can check in if they choose to. If I didn't mention, there is a Facebook group for the creators that I will link below. Um, and that's how you can kind of get information about this project. So that's my heart drop for this time around. And the next project I'm going to show you is a new start. There was a stitch along in Melanie Watkins' Soulful Stitching Group. And it was called the Gratitude Challenge. And it was about remembering what you're grateful for, just the way it sounds. So I had this chart by Little House Needleworks called Blessed. 
can see it's an angel and at the bottom is the word blessed with the flowers on the side and so this is where I am with this. So she's got her wings. And this is being done on an 18 count Ada in Teenage Dream by Fabrics by LJ. I really like this color. This one in particular is very blue and purple. Um, I've seen Teenage Dream before and sometimes it has a lot more pink, but this one really doesn't. I really like it. It's been enjoyable to stitch on this one. There are some fancy flosses in here um, and some DMC. I did make one change. I don't know if you can see, but she's got some cheeks and she's charted to have two eyes and a mouth. It's one stitch for the mouth and one each for the eyes. And the chart says to stitch them in the same taupe color that you do the cheeks. And flesh colored eyes freaked me out, so I didn't do those eyes. I just left her face blank. I thought it looked um, like those old fashioned dolls without faces. So I was happy with it without the eyes. The eyes with the flesh tone really freaked me out. So this is again, Blessed by Little House Needleworks. The next whip I want to show you is Wonka Land by Petal Pusher, and this is um, a store that you can access on Etsy. This is what the chart looks like when it's finished. Very colorful and very happy. And I'm going to show you where I'm at with it now. So I've done the goose that lays golden eggs. Veruca Salt, and Oompa Loompa, and there's a colorful path that goes throughout the whole chart, so that's what this is. This is the path getting started. This is a needle minder um, of Willy Wonka. It's really cute. I think I got it from Cassie's Needle Minders, but I'm not 100% sure of that because a couple of shops were selling this needle minder way back when they first got it out. So I got it where it was available and hadn't sold out yet. This is being done on another Fabrics by LJ. This is a 16 count Ada in Georgia Peach. And I have also worked on the Tiny Modernist Christmas Stitch Along. This is what it'll look like when it's finished. I started in the center with the sled and the last time you saw it, I had just stitched the green part of the sled. This is what I have now. So you can see I finished the sled. I did the gifts and the toy sack and did all the back stitching of the sled. I added the runner and the snow. And then I stitched up the elf. He's really cute. This is another nice um, stitch with a lot of small little motifs that you can finish. It's very motivating to do. So it's really fun. And this is being done on a 16 count Ada that I got from 123 Stitch. It's on the color Sea Spray, and I think that it's a Witchelt fabric. So I like the color for this one. I think it's coming out the, nicely. It's showing off the um, the colors in the chart well. So I'm really happy with that. And then finally, the last whip I'm gonna show you is the Magical Creatures Calendar. This is what it looks like when it's finished. It has all of the different creatures for all of the months. It has these very intricate corner border pieces. And when you saw it last, I had been working on October. I finished October and um, it's in the hoop right now so October's cut off a little bit but what I finished was the grass and the bottom border the grass I did in a variegated DMC in green so it goes across and has different shades of green um, and I finished the border on the bottom then I started November, and November, I really changed a lot of colors in November. Um, let me show you what November's supposed to look like. So 
so this is November as it's charted. You can see, um, I think it's like an orangey colored word, November. Um, there's a yellow and orange fairy. This fairy is teal and blue. So what I have done is changed it to a browner word. The word is brown. Um, which reminded me of the leaves, like the crunch under your feet in November. And I just changed the colors of the fairies to things that I enjoyed better. Um, so I still have a ways to go on this block. There's another big fairy here. And the huge border piece, the corner piece of the border, has to be done. And that's going to take a lot of time. Um, but this is on... A 16 count Ada in, I think the color is called Touch of Pink, and it's another witch old fabric that I got from 123 Stitch. So, those are my whips, and I'm really enjoying working on those. I sort of work on what I feel called to work on at any given day, and it's really nice and relaxing for me to do it that way, so I enjoy it. I don't have a specific rotation or anything. So, um, those are the whips and my finish. I was lucky enough to win a giveaway, and that was done by Sonia at Cat Crazy Creations. If you haven't seen her videos recently, you should go check her out. She, at the end of her videos, does a giveaway every week, sort of like Bendy Stitchy, Michelle Garrett does. Um, Sonia's giveaways are charts that are from a desk calendar that was a cross stitch desk calendar and every day is a different pattern with the chart on the back so I was lucky enough to um, enter to win this day October 11th and I won it and this is what I won it's so sweet I love the colors I love the the, um, the spring feel or the summer feel to it so I'm going to be excited to stitch this. Thank you so much, Sonia, for doing the giveaways and for sending this um, to me. I was really excited to win this one, so thank you so much. So now, sorry about shaking the camera there. So now I have a truly crazy, obscene amount of haul. Um, I think what happened was that I had all of the Lizzie Kate panic. I heard that she was retiring and it struck fear in my heart. <laughs> um, what really happened was that I have stitched one Lizzie Kate pattern that I really enjoyed. And I just thought kind of naively or, you know, without thinking very hard, that I just thought that she would always be around for me to get charts that I wanted to do in the future. So I was never in a hurry to build a stash of Lizzie Cates, um, and I never did. So when I heard she was retiring and that we might not have access to the charts, I had all the panic that everybody seemed to be having. And I went to 123 Stitch and I tried to order charts there, but they were sold out. Um, so I went to Down Sunshine Lane and Jen Stitching Niche and I found all the charts I wanted and I got them. So I was really excited. I'm going to show you what I got. The first series I got was the Four Seasons series and I got all four seasons, but I got three of them from Down Sunshine Lane and I got one of them from Jen Stitching Niche because um, Down Sunshine Lane was sold out of spring. So I got spring from Jen Stitching Niche. There's spring. And here's summer, winter, and autumn. I like the colors on that, on those. So I'm going to be excited to stitch those up. And the other ones I got, let's see, I got, this is one of the Three Little Words series. It's called You've Got This. And it says, You've got this. Be you bravely. I like the phrase, you've got this. I like the cheerleader quality of it. And <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy stitching this and having it around to be my cheerleader. <laughs> I like that. 
I got be silly, be kind, be honest, be kind. Be silly, be honest, be kind. I like this sentiment a lot as well. And I got home is the nicest word there is. This is a quote from Laura Ingalls Wilder, definitely on the TV show. I don't remember if she says it in the books or not, but keep Laura Ingalls in your mind because she's going to show up again later. Um, so this is one of my favorite quotes that she says in the show. I was happy to get this one. And I got this one, which has three charts, this one, this one, and this one, but I got it for this one. And it says, whatever's good for your soul, do that. So I got that. And I got this one, the Prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. It's pretty long, so it'll take some time to do this one. It won't be as quick as a typical Lizzie Kate, I don't think. But this is one of my favorites. So I had to get it. Happy to have this one. So those are my Lizzie Kate patterns that I got in the panic. Um, I think I'm done shopping for Lizzie Kate's. I really did look through them all to make sure that I got the things that I was interested in and thought I would stitch. So I'm really happy with that. Now I have a shocking amount of haul still to show you. Um, a lot of it is uh, needle minders. I think what happened is that I had all of the energy um, from getting the Lizzie Kate's that I felt like, oh my goodness, I wanna keep shopping. And I did. So um, I'm gonna show you first a new to me shop. It's on Etsy called The Trendy Little Geek. And I got from her a couple of things. Um, I got a needle minder, which I think is so cute. And I got a scissor fob. This is an interesting scissor fob. It's a globe, almost like one of those clear crystal ornaments. And inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there are, is confetti, stars confetti. They're all little stars that sparkle. So I really like that. That's a scissor fob. And then she also sells fabric. Now, I am not a quilter, I'm not a sewer, I don't have a lot of fabric, but I do have some for finishing my projects should I ever decide to finish anything, fully finish it. And when I saw these, I couldn't resist getting them. They're both Tula Pink fabrics, and I had never heard of Tula Pink before I bought these fabrics, but now I keep seeing it everywhere. You know how that happens when something comes to your attention and then you see it everywhere? Like if you, if someone says, you know, I never see yellow cars, and then suddenly you see yellow cars everywhere. So that's what happened. I've never heard of Tula Pink until I got these, and now I'm seeing Tula Pink everywhere. So these I'm hoping to find a good project to use for finishing with, but this is the one. Excuse my allergies, guys. And then I got this one. Look at how bright and cheerful this is. Isn't that awesome? Look at those cats. So that was the Trendy Little Geek. Nice shop, you should check it out. Really quick service. Um, and another new to me shop is um, overseas for me. Um, not overseas for some of you, I'm sure. Uh, this is a shop called Plant a Stitch. And this is her card. I found this shop on Etsy, and she sends her um, her needle minders in these little pouches, these gauze pouches, and there's little buttons, little heart-shaped buttons in the bottom, which are so cute. And these are the needle minders I got from her shop. One is a cup of cats. <laughs> And the other is that big cat face. It's pink and glittery. Thought they were so cute. 
If I haven't mentioned to you before, I am obsessed with needle minders. I have a huge collection, and it's been a while since I really went nuts buying needle minders, but this time around I did go nuts. Um, I shopped for needle minders at Gina's Unique Boutique, and I got three there. The Russian Nesting Doll and the Geisha. So cute, right? And then something really interesting that I found that's new in her shop are these um, carved stone needle minders. This one has a phoenix and a dragon facing each other. It's really hard to see on the camera, but in person it looks really nice. And um, it's such a nice, cool feeling stone. So um, it's nice and heavy. I like this. This is really cool. Very different. So that was Gina's Unique Boutique. She has two names for her shop. It's Gina's Unique Boutique on Etsy, and she has a Facebook group called Gina's Unique Needle Minders. So you can check her out in both places, but the name is slightly different. And I'm gonna link everything below, guys. So if you miss something that you're looking for, check the description box below. Um, so another shop that I used to shop at was called Mixing It Up with DBL. That's on Etsy. And she does needle minders and scissor fobs by upcycling Scrabble tiles. So I got some needle minders that are so cute. And I got a scissor fob. And so here's one. I don't know if you can see. That's a pig with rose-colored glasses. And she's wearing a pearl necklace. So I thought that was adorable. And then I'm really into florals lately. And I saw this floral. It's not every floral, but this one I thought was really pretty. Let's see if I can get this. They're all stuck together. So well, I can just show you this way. There's this one, a nice floral. There's the dancing frogs. I don't know what about that one was calling to me, except, you know, frogging. And I just thought the dancing frogs were adorable, sort of quirky. And then lastly is this pink cat. <laughs> I thought she was so cute. And finally, I got a scissor fob from this shop. And this is the scissor fob. Isn't that pretty? Sparkly, floral. I was very excited to find this one. It has a lobster claw clasp at the top. So I just hook it onto my scissors. So that's mixing it up with DBL. And then another new, uh, fairly new overall shop is the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher has a needle minder group on Facebook now, and that's Heather. She's the Imperfectly Perfect Stitcher on YouTube, and Heather was kind enough. I ordered some needle minders, and I'm going to show you them. I ordered this cat, this heart, and this apple that says New York. And then Heather was kind enough to send me three thank you needle minders for sending her a cross stitch magazine that had a chart that I thought she'd like. I sent her the magazine. So she sent me these needle minders as thank you. So there's this cute hedgehog, this gorgeous, this is almost, it reminds me of like metal lace. Um, it's really pretty. And this purple cat, I love purple and I love cats. So this is perfect. Thank you so much for doing that, Heather. You really didn't have to um, send me a thank you, but I really appreciate it. I love them so much. Thank you for that. And then another new to me shop was Curious Carrie on Etsy. And I recently put together in my head that I think this is the House of Floss and Fluff on YouTube. So 
this is what I got. The unicorn and the bear. So cute. And she was kind enough to send these purple DMC flosses. I don't know if that's because she knew my favorite color is purple, but if she didn't know, that was an awesome guess. <laughs> um, and I was really lucky. Um, and otherwise, just a very thoughtful gesture. Thank you so much for sending these. I'm doing my heart drops in purple, and so this is gonna come in so handy for my heart drops. So thank you so much for this and for the adorable needle minder. So, so cute. So we're almost done with the haul, guys. Just a few more things to show you. I jumped on the bandwagon for the latest craze in fabric I wanted to try. And the latest craze in fabric uh, that I have heard of is XJU Designs. I don't know if you say XJU or XJU um, Designs, but here's your card that comes with um, her package. And she has hand-dyed Ada, um, as well as linens. I think she has even weaves. But since I like to stitch on Ada, I was really excited to find Ada. And um, first of all, she sent me a free sample of this gorgeous light green, a nice little square of this beautiful light green. So thank you so much for that. Um, this will come in so handy. I have a small project that I'm thinking of stitching on this, so thank you. And I got this 16 count Ada. It's the colorway is steel. This is steel. And I got 14 count peacock. Look at that deep, rich color. It's so pretty. And light gold in 14 count. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? It's getting a little washed out. It's a really beautiful light gold. So I'm really excited to try those out and see how they are to stitch on. Um, so that was great. I also got the double-sided DMC box. I'm excited. To, I don't have a full set of DMC, but what I want to do is put my DMC that's not being used in here. And then I have the individual boxes um, for DMC bobbins. And I want to make sure that I put those with individual projects. I find it really easy to access my floss in those smaller boxes. And this would be the way I'm going to store my floss that's not in use. So I was so excited to get this. And I picked up, there was a bag I was eyeing from So Much To Love. I got this bag. It's a mermaid and unicorn, purple, and beautiful teal top. It's got a teal heart, and then the inside, let's see if you can see, it's got gold dots, and mint and peach dots as well. So I'm really happy to have this. And then finally, I have a little bit of a story. So Nashville Market is coming up and Heartstring Samplery announced that they're going to be having um, a new sampler, the Prairie Life Sampler, released at market. And it's gonna be a market exclusive. So that means that if you want access to that chart, you have to contact your LNS and have them get it for you at market. And I don't have an LNS where I live, there are none. There's Michaels and Joann's and AC Moore, but no LNS um, in my area. So I was feeling a little bit 
a little bit down that I wasn't going to be able to get the chart. And um, Joan and Kelly, Mama Joan and Kelly, are doing a stitch along for that chart. And I love Little House on the Prairie. Um, I wanted to be able to do the stitch along, so I was racking my brain thinking, what can I do to get this chart? Or should I just wait until it becomes available in um, aftermarket? It takes like a month or two. I know that doesn't sound long, but I would miss out on starting the sale. So I was thinking, and Pam and Steph talk all the time about keepsakes and how wonderful Barbara is. And I've seen Barbara in some of their videos. And I thought, okay, they've said that you can call keepsakes and ask about charts there. So maybe I could call and see if they're going to market and if they would be willing to get and ship that chart to me. So I dove out of my comfort zone and I dialed Ohio and Barbara herself answered the phone and I was so excited and I explained the situation and she said she is going to market. She put my name on the list and hopefully if the um, designer at Heartstring Samplery has enough of the charts, I will get that chart shipped to me from Keek Seeks in Ohio. I am so psyched. Barbara was so nice. She was exactly the way she was in the videos that I've seen her in. She sounded exactly like that. So I have to say thank you to her. I know she doesn't watch my videos, but thank you to her. And thank you so much to Pam and Steph for planting the seed in my mind that I could maybe do that. Um, so if you're doing the stitch along with the Prairie Life Sampler and you've got the chart, um, you may need a bag to go with it. And Mama Joan took care of that. She made a coordinating bag that of course I had to get. And this is my last bit of haul, so <laughs> everybody take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay, this is it. Um, this is the bag, it's one of her um, signature vinyl bags. And the back is Little Houses on the Prairie. And the inside is like Laura Ingalls Little Red Dress. Let me show you without the vinyl, see if you can see it better. So adorable. So I can't wait to get the chart, put it in the bag, start stitching it. I'm gonna be so excited to start this one. Um, so that is my haul. That is everything. <laughs> As if that weren't enough. So, if you've stayed this long, thank you so much for hanging out with me and um, taking a look at my truly astounding amount of haul this time around. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, for commenting on my videos, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Um, and have a great day. Bye, Stitchy friends.